Hey guys, um, this is work on my 164. Um, I'm putting the black leather door inserts on my black car today, but I need to get these red stitched ones out to put them in the black car. And then I'm swapping the ones from the black car in here. But that's a kind of little video on how to get the interior apart. It's actually fairly easy. I've taken the hardware out of everything here, so it's just sitting. But there's two screws under here and one kind of behind this latch that holds the armrest and door handle on. And there's one screw back here that holds this trim piece on. What you want to do is once you get that screw out, just take it and slide it forward. No need to pry on much of anything in this car. You get it out to where you can twist it and then disconnect that harness. It'll come right off. I was actually amazed at how easy the interior comes apart on this car. It's not like an American car where it's all one-time use tabs and stuff like that. To get the top out is, is a little tricky. It took me a while to figure it out, but if I, there's a little post on there with a flared head on it and it catches in a spring in a keyhole shaped slot. So if you kind of slide up on it like this, you'll see a hole under there. And once you can see, well, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but once you can see that spring in there, just kind of walk it up. There we go, I think you can see that. It's hard to do with one hand. But, ooh, dang. It comes out fairly easy. It's easier with two hands and you don't hit your camera with the piece when you're done. Um, grab this. Then you just start putting your panels in. Start by You gotta get your uh, door lock post through the hole, and that's gonna take me two hands to do it. Um, pretty much everything slides on these little buttons on each side. You see there's a catch on the back. Um, with the age, I've had a few of them break off, so if it happens when you're working on your car, just super glue them back on, you should be okay. Um, see if I can get this panel on. You probably heard it when it went on. Once it, it, these back doors, the top strip's a little hard to get on and off compared to the front. I don't know if it's because they've never been removed, but getting it in is kind of a trick. The the back has two tabs under. It. You gotta kind of walk it out this way and push it in. Well, at the same time pushing down on the door. Once it catches, it pretty much just goes right down the front. And then you take your lower panel and this is the only one with the infamous American style clips but even they come out pretty easy there's a hole down here it's gonna go in kind of tap them into place. There will be four screws along the bottom of here to secure that. Um, there's going to be one screw here and it's basically once you get your door handle ready to go back on just set that in there and give it a tap with the palm of your hand. It'll lock into place and then you can put the remaining hardware on and slide your trim piece back in. And when it's all done 
this is what it's going to look like. All black with the red stitching. I still have to locate a surround for the instrument panel and a shift boot, but eventually it'll have all the S interior in it. And it'll be looking pretty good, I think. That's uh, my video of today. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be putting a clutch in it, so I'll try the best I can to make a video of it as I'm doing it, so people that are unfortunate enough to have to do it can maybe get it done. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.